Okay guys, so in this one we need to add our uh, our media settings, our static file settings, as well as our template settings. And what you need to do is open up your settings.py file and we're gonna import OS. That's the first thing that you need to do. And down into uh, media root, we're gonna do os.path.join and os.path.durname file okay and then we're gonna call it static and media actually we want to put two dir names here not just one okay and media URL slash media and we're gonna do this exact same thing here to static root take those single parentheses off and we're gonna call it static only and then in static durs we will add a comma to the end of it notice the other ones do not have a comma and we'll just call it static all right and now we need to go down to template durs and call it templates and make sure that commas at the end because it is a tuple Okay, so now in MVP landing, we want to add a new folder called static. New folder under that, call it media. New folder under that, oops, not new file. New folder under that, call it static only. New folder under that, call it static. And new folder under that, call it templates. Okay. So static is where you're gonna put your stuff. So let's just show you kind of what you'll put there. Oops, not new file, you new folder, you'll do CSS there, and you'll do JavaScript there, and you will do images there. So that's kind of how I separate it all the time. Media is what users will be uploading. Uh, it's not typically this stuff, it's probably gonna be like images uh, that's or PDF files or something like that in the future um, but definitely CSS images and JavaScript is going to go into static that's where you put it static only you don't actually put things there we'll show you how things go there uh, and then templates are our template files so uh, first and foremost you want to add a file called base.html and then if you remember back just a second ago, we made this other one called home. Actually, I'm gonna call it join slash home. So under templates, I'm gonna add a new folder for join. So that's what this is gonna look for. It's gonna look for that folder first, and then it's gonna look for home.html. And we'll add that, home.html. Okay, so that's kind of the process of adding new templates. Um, so save everything and let's jump back into the terminal here and Oh, it looks like we made a mistake in the settings. We have too many underscores on all of the files If you notice Python and Django are really good and they'll say, you know, if there's errors and they'll say exactly what it is and makes it easy to find those errors, okay? So now we'll do a python manage.py and we'll do a collect static. And you're gonna say yes. No such folder exists under MVP landing. So we have it in the wrong area. So let's actually just move it up one level. I put it under MVP landing on accident. And there we go. That time it worked. And the reason I knew this is because it says no files in the directory desktop MVP landing, which is that, slash static, which is that now, but before I had it under here. So, yeah, now it's not. And let's take a look at what happened. If you look under media, nothing happened. Static, nothing happened. Static only. There's a new one called admin, and now it has the admin stuff. Before, when you were loading the admin, you probably wouldn't have seen the styles, and that's not an error. Uh, that's just because we didn't collect the files. 
So um, now what we want to do is we actually want to serve our static files. And then we're going to open our URLs and then we're going to go to from Django.conf import settings, lowercase settings, make sure it's not the uppercase one. And then the first thing we're going to do are static uh, question mark B path dot make sure there's a dot there star and after that we put a dollar sign and then Django dot views dot static dot serve and then we do document root settings dot static root cool so this is now going into static root remember when we did that here static root and notice it says static only so that to get things in there you have to run collect static like we just did there okay so we can do this exact same formula for media so user uploaded files and let's just change that to media and this to media and there you go now you have all your URL. static files served and we are ready to go